Number 16. This is 2022 P. Wilma Mankiller Quarter. Recently discovered error variety. It comes with retained cut and die break. According to CoinWorld a retained cut occurs when a portion of the die face adjacent to the rim breaks off but is held in position. A raised area of design features may appear in that area on the struck coin. Examples of Mankiller quarter dollars with retained cut errors similar to that found by Clark Davis. This one was sold for $160 on eBay. Number 15. This is 1922 No D Lincoln Cent with strong reverse. Graded as VF30 by PCGS. The 1922 No D Strong Reverse Cent is a rare and valuable variety of the Lincoln Wheat Cent, a coin that was minted by the United States Mint. The term, strong reverse, refers to the design characteristics on the back of the coin. In the case of the 1922 No D Cent, the reverse design shows more pronounced and well defined details compared to obverse. This specimen was sold for $1,140 on August 22, 2023. Number 13. 1997 D. Roosevelt Dime in MS-68 condition with full bands. Graded in Mint State 68 full bands by PCGS. According to Jaime Hernandez from the Coin Grading Service, the 1997 D. Roosevelt dime can easily be found up to MS-67 condition. However, with full band details on the reverse torch design it is very hard to find examples in most grades with the full band details. Examples in MS-67 full bands are very scarce. In MS-68 or higher with full bands they are considered very scarce to rare. This specimen ended up selling for $2,160, Number 12, 1998 Lincoln Cent in MS69 red condition. According to PCGS, P. Lincoln Cent has a mintage of over 5 billion, making it a very common coin. Finding one in circulation up to about MS64 condition should be fairly easy. Only in MS68 condition or higher are the considered scarce. MS69 gems are almost unheard of. This pristine specimen ended up selling for $2,220. Number 11. Here is 1995 P. Jefferson Nickel in MS67 Plus condition with full steps. A grade of MS67 Plus indicates that the coin is in nearly perfect condition with only very minor imperfections. Full steps, FS, is a term used specifically for Jefferson Nickels to describe the detail of the design on the steps of Monticello on the reverse side of the coin. For a coin to receive the full steps designation, the steps on Monticello must be well defined and complete. This FS gem was sold for $2,756.25 with buyer's fee. Number 10. This is 2004 piece metal nickel in MS-68 condition. Popular single-year design in superb gem grade. This is an incredible condition rarity from a mintage of 361 million coins, smooth, fully struck, and satiny. This brilliant superb gem nickel shows a single tick left of the E in E Pluribus Unum. It was sold for $3,055. Number 9. 1999P New Jersey Quarter struck on an experimental plan kit. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. Manganese alloy planches for the newfangled, golden, dollar apparently arrived at the Philadelphia Mint before their intended target the Sacagawea dollar dies. Mint workers instead tested the planches using statehood quarter dies. Only a handful of examples are known for each of the five statehood types. The present piece has raised rims, and the peripheral legends are normally struck, without the stretching often encountered on the experimental planket strikes it was sold for $3,760. Number 8. This is undated Anthony Dollar struck on a cent plan kit. Graded in Mint State 65 Red by PCGS. According to Heritage, a lustrous orange-red gem with glimpses of rose and cobalt blue on the reverse. The date and mint mark are off the flan. The reverse suggests this is a 1999 dollar, since the 1979 to 1981 Anthony Dollars preceded the copper-plated zinc alloy, and there is clear evidence of zinc showing in the feathers of the eagle. 
This error coin ended up selling for $4,130.13. Number 7. Moving on with this 1998 S. Lincoln Cent double struck and rotated in collar. Graded as PR69 Red Deep Cameo by PCGS. A remarkable modern proof error not a missing mintmark variety, but a rotated, double struck press error. At first glance the coin is a starkly contrasted deep cameo proof in virtually flawless condition. However, when angled beneath the light, the ghost of a second, Rotated die impression becomes visible in the fields and at the edges of the devices, rotated several degrees counterclockwise, relative to the obverse. The effect is especially prominent at Liberty and on the reverse, around the Lincoln Memorial. It was sold for $4,560. Number 6. This is 2000 W bimetallic $10 coin featuring Library of Congress. Graded in mint state 70 by PCGS. Fully struck, satiny, and perfect aside from a minute spot above the first L in dollars. The sole bimetallic commemorative issue, and the first commemorative issue to include platinum as part of its composition. It was sold for $4,312.50. Number 5. This is 1995 Lincoln Cent with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 69 red by PCGS. A dazzling, registry set ready scent that displays peach gold and ruby red coloration over nearly perfect, sharply struck surfaces. Strong doubling on Liberty is readily visible, as well as on In God We Trust. This variety took the numismatic world by storm in 1995 and fostered a nationwide search that yielded very few examples in such a high grade. It was sold for $5,052.50. Number 4. Here is 2005 P. American Bison Jefferson Nickel with satin finish. Graded in mint state 70 by PCGS, the highs grade available. According to Jaime Hernandez, the 2005 P. Satin Finish Bison Nickel is fairly easy to find up to SP69 condition. It is also very affordable in grades up to SP69. In perfect MS70 condition it is very difficult to obtain and very expensive in this condition. This true gem ended up selling for $5,486.62 with buyer's fee. Here is 2000 Lincoln Cent struck over a 2000 P New Hampshire state quarter. The highly unusual double denomination error. A 2000 P New Hampshire quarter was normally struck, then placed between cent dies and struck again. The collar die was either absent or disabled for the second strike. The scent strike is nearly perfectly centered on the quarter. Washington faces north relative to the portrait of Lincoln, and the Lincoln Memorial is vertically aligned relative to the statehood side. It was sold for $9,400. Number 2. This is 1957 Franklin Half Dollar. Graded as PR69 Ultra Cameo by NGC. The speculative frenzy surrounding proof sets reached its pinnacle this year, when well over 1 million sets were sold. Some persons actually accused the U.S. Mint of deliberately selling more sets than its usual capacity warranted, but the Mint believed that as was simply satisfying collectors by not returning unfulfilled orders, as it had in recent years. The very high figure actually had a chilling effect on such speculation, and the 1957 set was a drug on the market for some years afterward. This added production seems to have come at the cost of lower overall quality. The percentage of 1957 proof half dollars displaying cameo or ultra cameo contrast fell in 1957, though only the latter pieces are truly scarce. It was sold for $24,187.50 with buyer's fee. Number 1. And the most valuable coin of this episode. 1956 Lincoln Cent in MS67 plus red condition. The 1956 Cent is about four times as scarce in MS67 red at PCGS as it is at NGC. This piece is one of just three MS67 red coins at PCGS with a plus designation, and it is one of few superb gem reds with CAC endorsement. This wonderful example displays vibrant fire orange luster and a bold strike, with no trace of carbon. 
The eye appeal is stunning. It was sold for $57,600. Thanks for watching this video. Keep following us on YouTube and don't forget to hit subscribe and like buttons. Have a good one.